Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupid. I am Penge, welcome back to Terraforming Mars. So last time out, we began our Terraforming Mars journey, our little mission as a corporation. We are Inventrix, and we are up against Grey Player. I don't know what corporation they are, but whatever, they're that little sort of thing there. And uh, yeah, we're up against them. We're doing okay, I think, we're doing okay. They have done quite a good job of raising the temperature quite a lot. We've pushed the oxygen up a little bit, and they put down a water tile, so there's one sort of blob of ocean water on Mars as it stands right now. We've got quite a lot of cards, got quite a lot of cards going on, which is very, very good. And um, yeah, they're, they're just beating us in this terraform rating score over here. So we've got a terraform rating of 26. They've got 35, which is helping them a great deal because they're going to get 35 extra monies per turn, which is not particularly helping us because it means they can deploy more cards. But okay, so last time out we left it at sort of an end of a turn, the end of Generation 7. I can't do anything else, I've got four monies, not really got anything to play, so we're going to pass. So yep, yeah, I can't do anything until the next generation, but that's fine because the next generation duh, 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 has kicked in. We get 26 monies plus the extra three monies we get from having that there. So now look, he's, he's rubbish, he's got rubbish kind of production figures there. Doesn't get any extra money, steal... Uh, titanium plants and do you have an energy one? Okay, I didn't really see what he had. But okay, right, now we get to choose up to four cards. Oh, some of these are very, very good. Stop giving me good cards. I've already got 24 cards. Right, okay, I'm not having energy saving. I'm not having satellites. I am taking farming, which is quite good because that gives us a bit more money and some more plant production-y stuff. And um, I'm, I'm torn whether to take this. Tectonic stress power gives us, gives us the victory point, which is very, very good. And it gives us three energy, which is going to be very useful indeed. But it's 16 monies to deploy. It's 16 monies, which is quite a lot. So I don't know whether I should take it. I must have other power things. Do you know what? To heck with it. Let's do it. Let's go and do that. Let's take those two cards and we'll try and deploy them as best we can. We've got so many cards I want to play. So many cards. Right. Is it going to become our turn? Right. It's our turn. One thing I'm going to do is use my tardigrade things again. Might as well. Doesn't do any harm at all. And the next thing we can do, action-wise, get ourselves three more cards. Because then I'm going to start selling some of these cards. I'm going to start selling some. So at the end, yeah, cancel that. Lovely. Thank you very much. Now, when it becomes my go, we are going to do something that I kind of went, oh, I'll come to that next time. And we're going to come to it now. At the top here, you've got standard projects, which are things you can just build. So you could buy, spend 23 monies and build a forest, if you so wished. Or spend 14 monies and lob an asteroid and increase the temperature, that kind of thing. There is also milestones and awards. So milestones. The guy, my opposition, has given himself a milestone. So he has a terraformer. He has a terraform rating of at least 35. He was unable to award himself. He spent some money, probably less than eight. I think it goes up. So he was able to spend some money to give himself that prize. And at the end of the game, each prize is worth five victory points. However, I can buy this for eight monies. I can buy the planner milestone because I've got at least 16 cards in my hand when I claim this milestone. So yes, I'm going to go for that, please. I'm going to spend some of my monies because that's five victory points that then counteracts his victory points there as well. So the mayor one, you have to own at least three city tiles. There's no cities on the board. That one is eight, uh, three greenery tiles, sorry. And that one is eight building tags. I don't know if I've got any building tags. I've got three building tags. I'm slightly closer to getting the forest thing. And now, speaking of that, I've got 10 uh, plant resources, so I can turn those into a nice tree. So let's put that, uh, where do I want to put that? There. Now, I can't remember. Do they get, I don't think he gets points. No, no one gets points for water next to next to forests. So let's put it there, because that gives me two forest tiles back, two little forest counters back already, which is lovely. That increases the oxygen. That increases my terraform rating, which is absolutely beautiful. Right, end my turn for now. Let Grey Player have a go. Grey Player has passed already. Good grief. Okay, that was quick then. Uh, so that's Masters. Also, there is awards. These are calculated at the end of the game. So you can bid for these. So you can say, well, I'm going to uh, put up the money for the minor award. So the minor award is to have the most steel and titanium resources. At the end of the game, that's calculated. So I pay eight now. I don't necessarily... I might not win. I might pay eight monies. And at the end, he might go, ha ha, I've got this titanium mine. Build a titanium mine. And he takes first place but I'm just putting the money up to have this award. So have the most heat resource, have the most science tags, have the highest money production, or own the most tiles. 
So yeah, I'm not going to put money on any of those right now. I'm going to leave those for now because that's a little bit risky. However, if I get one more greenery tile, I can then give myself that milestone there of Gardener, which is also going to be a good thing. And you can only have three milestones in play. So he's got one. I've got one. If I could get Gardener, that's an extra five victory points on top of all the other ones. Okay, right. I've got 12 bazillion things. <laughs> what do I actually want to play? Let me go through and have a look. Oh, that is very good. That must have been one of the cards that I picked up earlier on from my sort of free three cards. Yes. I've got at least four science tags. Have I got at least four science tags? Oh, please tell me I've got at least four science tags. I would love that. Three science tags. I wonder if playing that card counts as another science tag, however. I wonder if putting that into play means that I've got that counts as a fourth. Because if I press use, that's really good. Four energy, and then I can use... Because minute my energy is pretty low. I could produce two. So if I could up that, I can then build all the power plants and things. Will it let me do that? No, I need another science tag. Have I got anything else that gives me a science tag? Breathing filters was 7% oxygen or more. Yeah, we're not even anywhere near that at all. We're nowhere near that. Uh, okay, right. Back to the drawing board. Ah, now that's interesting. Yeah, let's go for this. Solar wind power gives me two titanium, which is nice. And my energy production goes up by one. And it gives me my science tag. So let's do that. Yes, please. I'll have one of those. Thank you very much. Lovely. So, yeah, energy. Uh, I get some more of those. Get a bit of energy production. Get some of that. Right. What else can I do now? So now I've got 12. So I can no longer build the thing that I wanted to build. I can't build... Oh, no, I can. I can build the quantum extractor. Let's do that. Let's get loads of energy. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Do that, please. Energy mongus. My money's going to come down loads, but I've now got loads of energy production underway. Okay, right. End my turn, and I don't think I can do anything else at all. I've done my actions, I think. Yep, okay, yep, pass. Absolutely, can't do anything else. Right, so now stuff is going to happen. This is going to be good. And I can deploy one of my cards, finally, which is very, very good. I can actually get a card in play. I've got so many things I can do. I've got so many things I can do. I need to get the green tile thing. I need to get my milestone in. I might not buy any cards. I might not buy any cards just because I need that money to spend on my things. <laughs> Because otherwise I'm not going to be able to ever do anything. I'm not going to be able to ever sort of deploy any of these things from buying cards. So as good as those things are, do you know what? I'm just going to not even bother looking at them. I'm not going to know what I've missed out on if I don't look at them. So, okay, 40 monies. That's very, very good. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is create some more trees. Huzzah! So let's put those ones uh, there. If I put those trees... Oh, they have to be next to other trees. Okay, well, let's put one there then because that gives me some tree tiles back. That'll increase the oxygen level. Beautiful. That gives me a terraform rating. Now I can go into milestones, get myself the gardener milestone for eight monies. And then that gives me an extra five victory points at the end of the game. Lovely. Thank you very much. That's very, very welcome indeed. So that's good. Uh, you are adding some water. <gasps> We've got another water tile. We've got another water tile on the board. That's very exciting. Okay, now I could use my heat here. I've got an excess of heat. I've got nine heat. You can use eight heat to increase the temperature. But I have a thing in here for one whole money. So it's been sitting there for ages. Spend eight heat to increase your terraform rating by one step. Minimum 0 degrees C or warmer. That's absolutely fine. We can do that. So yes, okay, let's do that. For a whole one monies, we might as well do that. That should increase that. Did it increase that? Maybe I... Hello? Did that work? I don't think that worked. <laughs> I don't think that worked. It didn't take any of my heat away. And I don't think it increased that. Okay, well, there we go. Alpha version. It's absolutely fine. I don't know if I paid money for it as well. I didn't actually check what I had. Um, Okie doke. Right then. We've got another action. What shall we do? Okay, I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for the soil factory. Drop our energy production down one. So we'll only make six per turn. Well, that's a terrible shame. Increase plant production, which will increase it up to six per turn. That's a good thing, and it gives us a victory point. Also, I can use two, both of my steel uh, little sort of uh, resources left. So that'll pay for four. So this has only cost me three in terms of actual monies because I'm paying for four of the cost using my uh, steel just there. So yeah, let's do that because I think he's done loads of getting temperature. He's absolutely got loads of those things from getting temperature. If I can do the same by getting oxygen up, I can then kind of ramp my terraform rating up that way. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get ourselves a soil factory. Thank you very much. 
There we go. Energy drops down. Soil production goes up. Uh, sorry, plant production goes up. Okay, right. End turn. Let's get past his go. Come back to mine. Oh, it's already my turn. Good grief. That was quick. Right, actions. Oh, there. That's where the caretaker contract thing is. Oh, well, let's do that now then. Yeah, let's increase my Terraform rating by one step. Bosh. Beautiful. 29 versus 38. He's still quite a long way ahead, isn't he? Uh, let's use that thing. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Lovely. Right, end my go. He has passed. So he's now done. He's out for the round. Now I've got a little bit of money left over. What do I want to deploy now? Okay, I think I can afford this. Three monies. Again, a drain on my power, but I get loads of power anyway. So I get plus six a minute, so I'll lose two power but I increase my plant production by one step again, and I get myself another terraform rating point for three money. So yeah, let's do that. Let's play the magnetic field dome. So that's good. I'm slowly catching up. I'm slowly catching up. It's going well. It's going okay. Uh, and then yes, well, let's just see if we want to do anything else. We've got all the time in the world because he's done. So yeah, let's see what we want to do now. What I am going to do is I'm going to get rid of some of my cards. I've just had a look through. There's a couple that I don't particularly like. So yeah, let's sell some patents then. So those are all good. I want to keep those. Uh, I don't want the asteroid. Let's get rid of that. Don't want the asteroid. Not interested in that. Uh, there was another one as well that I wasn't interested in. Uh, Comet takes away three of my things. I don't really want that. It gives me an ocean tile, but we've got other things that give us ocean tiles and that's very expensive. So we'll get rid of that. That's fine. Uh, ore processor. Get rid of that. Don't want that either. Imported GHG. Not so bothered about that at the moment. Um, technology demonstration is one, but it, it gives us two cards, but I can't get free cards anyway, so we'll get rid of that as well. Keep all the plant-based ones. I think everything else is looking pretty good. I know, maybe not that carbonate processing. I'm not bothered about that either. So let's get rid of those. Let's sell those for six monies. That's very welcome. Did that go up? Yes, it did. Okay, yeah, it did that very quickly. That's what I thought. Right, end my turn. Right, another, another turn spins round. Have I done all these things? Uh, okay, well, let's let's use that then. I've got three cards back. Are they any good? Or do I need to go through and sell sell those ones? Perhaps I'll skip past the end of the list. Uh, food factory. Minus, oh, now minus one plant, but I get, what's that do? An increase of four money production. Oh, absolutely, yes. Absolutely, utterly, without question. Decrease plant production by one, but increase my money production by four. Yeah, do that. No brainer. Absolutely no brainer. Right, good. Splendid. That's nice. Right, what other cards did we get from that hand? Uh, windmills. There are only four. Increase your energy production one step. Uh, oh, no, no turns left. All right, end turn. It's a bit silly, isn't it? Because I'm the only person playing, but okay. So yeah, we'll have windmills that costs a paltry four. Yeah, we'll have that. Minimum oxygen. Oh, 7% or more. Ah, we're not at that point yet. Okay, now I could, if we had a couple more, because my special thing allows me to have a variance of plus plus or minus two to the temperature and oxygen levels. So I could do that eventually, but not right now. Um, okay, power grid is very expensive. T uh, tundra farming is expensive. I need cheaper things, please. Let me have a look through what looks good. I am going to build a medical lab. It gives us victory point and it increases my money production one step for every two building tags I have, including this. So including this, I will have seven building tags. So I will get an extra three money production. So every turn I will get 10 monies, which is nice, plus the 30 I'm going to get. So every turn I will get 40 monies. That is well worth doing. So yeah, we'll deploy that. Thank you very much. And a victory point as well. There's no bad thing about that. But I think that is it now. My turn is indeed done. I don't think I can do anything else. I've got one. <laughs> I've got one thing. I don't think I can do anything else. No, I am I am done. Okay, so yeah, let's go to the next generation. Duh, 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 again. And uh, I've got some heat, which I'm going to use possibly to turn into a, a terraform rating. Have I got some plants? Might have some plants as well, so I can put some more plants down. Oh, this is. I think we can have him. We can do this. We must have loads and loads of victory points compared to the other person. Uh, okay, right, cards. What do I want to buy? I think I've got quite a lot of cards in my hand. 19 cards is plenty. Plus I can get another three free. I might buy Lichen because that's quite good. It's only five. So I'll have that at a cost of three. Maybe those three free cards I get, I could just get rid of it. I just go, there, yeah, right, sorted. There we go. I'll make my money back on that. So yes, now when it gets to my go, oh, he's, he's, he's putting a plant down, is he? Or has he just increased that? Okay. Oh, no, he's affecting me. He just took away some of my plants. 
You swine bag, was that him or me? Oh, I'm not really sure. It gets very confusing. Right, first thing I want to do is go to actions. Let's use my eight heat again, and let's turn it into a terraform rating point. So I'm on 32 versus, oh no, 31. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Damn you numbers. And um, let's do that thing as well. Let Why not? Let's just do the tardigrade thing on there again. Okie dokie. Like so, my turn ends. What are you going to do? You are going to increase your money. You got a little bit of money out of that. You've increased the temperature, which is no bad thing. That's crept up again, has it? Were you on 39? Now you're on 40. He's increased the temperature again. How on earth? What cards have you got? What cards have you got? Good grief. Okay, fine. Uh, we are going to increase the oxygen levels. So we can put one there. Possibly just there. That's good. That gives us two of them back. Lovely. That knocks the oxygen up a little bit. That gives us one of those points. A nice terraform rating point. And now we have our second go. So what should we put into place now? I might spend big. I might go on the domed crater. So it gives us a city, which is exciting because it's the first city we've got on the board. Gain three plants, place a city tile. Decrease energy production one step. I can absolutely cope with that. Increase money production a further three steps. I can use my one single unit of uh, steel to pay for two of those. It's going to cost me 20 monies. Uh, but yeah, okay, I, that's a good thing. Yes, do that. So it's going to say, where do you want to put this, please? Hopefully it'll ask me where I want to put it at some point place a city tile down it should ask me i'm hoping it does and you get points for cities being next to uh forest so uh yeah these green tiles so if i put it there or indeed there i get extra victory points at the end because just that tile there the city will be next to one two three and in theory if i get another another forest tile, which i could actually i could put it there get myself another victory point at the end so if we put the city just there, there it is. The domed crater appears. That's very cool. Got no actions left for this turn. Grey player has immediately passed. Okay, good. Right, we'll do that then. Get ourselves some greenery. Can I put it just there? Yes, I can. There we go. Four victory points for putting that city just there and having it surrounded by uh, forests. That's very, very good. And it increased the oxygen and it increased my terraform rating. Okay, it's looking good. Now I need to pick a, another thing that I want to play. I'm just thinking about it. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use my thing to get me uh, some free cards. And let's see what they were. Now, I do have a plan. I just need to make sure that these are any good. Hired raiders? No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing nefarious, naughty things. Peroxide power? Oh, no, I don't want to do that either. Advanced ecosystems. What does that do? At least one plant tag, microbe tag, and animal tag. What does that mean? Oh, we need to... What? I need to have at least one of those things. Plant, microbe, and animal. Um, I'm fairly sure I've got plant and microbe. I must have microbes. But I don't think I've got animals. Yeah, I've got no animal tags. Oh, and that would have been useful earlier on, wouldn't it? I had animals earlier. I could have picked them at the very start. Okay, well, what I am going to do then is go to here. Make the Miranda Resort, which is good. Oh, and I've got no actions left, for goodness sake. Yes, <laughs> back to my turn. Uh, Miranda Resort. If I can click on the right buttons. There we go. Gives me a victory point and it increases my money production for each earth tag I have. And I have three of those. So I might as well do that. Plus, I've got two points of titanium. Uh, now, titanium is uh, worth three monies. So I might as well do that. So that's six monies paid off in titanium. So this is going to cost me two. So yeah, we'll use that. It increases my production. 16 extra monies I'm going to get per turn. That is beautiful. Now, is there an award for that? Most tiles, the highest money production... I could spend money on that. I don't think he's going to get higher than 16. I'm fairly certain. So I'm going to buy that for me. Lovely. Well, not for me, but I'm going to put that award up. I'm going to fund that award. And at the end, at the end of the um, end of the game, that gets analysed. So it says, all right, banker award's been funded. Who actually is? Who is the biggest banker? And uh, hopefully it could be me and I'll get another five victory points. Now, he will then come in second because by default he has to be in second, but he will only get two victory points for that. So that's fine. So I'll gain a little advantage of plus three over him. Right. Let's end this particular thing. Okay. What do I want to do now? I'm going to do this for five. For five minutes, I'm going to increase my plant production back up one step. Because I can. Because why not? So there we go. That's done that. It's cost me some money. I don't think I can do anything else. I don't particularly want to do anything else right now. So let's skip that. Yep. Yeah. And then let's pass and begin the next generation. So generation 11. Now, the previous times I've played this... 
One of them finished relatively early. It might have been Generation 11 that we finished. Other ones have gone to sort of 14 and 15. So they've carried on a little bit. So we are nearing the end game. We're nearing the end game. The thing I'm most surprised about is the lack of um, water. We haven't got much in the way of water on the board. But okay, I'm sure we can sort that out. Right, don't want any of these cards. They are very expensive to deploy. Very expensive indeed. Now an underground city could be appealing. Minus two power, but you get plus two steel out of it and a city. And you know, we, so cities are useful. We can have cities. They're good. Um, they give us victory points, but they're quite expensive. Do you know what? I've got plenty of cards in my hand. No, let's ignore those for now. Let's not bother. Let's keep all our monies. Oh, 46 monies. That is tremendous. No, 52 monies. That's me, isn't it? I'm in Ventrix. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, we can put down another uh, forest tile. So yes, I would like to convert it to greenery. Uh, let's put it there. Put it there. Wee, lovely. Oxygen should go up. Like, go on. Hello, oxygen goes up. I should get another one of those points. Yes, I am catching you up, Sonny. And, uh, nope, that's the wrong button. And actions. Um, I don't know if I need to do my tardigrade thing anymore. Well, do you know what? It doesn't cost me anything. I might as well just do it. There we go. Sorted. Right, end my turn. Let's see what you do. You've got some titanium in. Okay, that's nice. Got another one of those. What did you do to do that? Did you put a plant down? You've got something. It's been a card that you played. You got some good stuff out of that card. Fair play, my good man. Fair play. Right, we can have a city. We can have open city. It takes a bit of power. Um, it gives us some gives us some plants. Gain two plant tiles. And we place a city tile. And we get more money per turn. And we can reduce the cost of it by using steel. So let's do that. I do not fulfill the requirements. Do I not? Why not? Do I not? 12% oxygen or high. Ah, 12% oxygen or high, of course, because it's open and they need to be able to breathe, of course. Um, okay, let's go down the route of this then. Phobos Space Haven. Three victory points. It's on here. It's on this planet over here, the little sort of moon. So let's do that. Increase your titanium prediction one step and place a city. Yes, please. And I think it goes on there. I think that's where it lives. So, yep, yeah, just there. Du, 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 du. We've got a city on the moon. That's very exciting. We've got a moon city. What else do we want to do? Minimum plus two degrees seal warmer. Let's do that for three. That's not very much money. Place an ocean tile. <gasps> How exciting. I've not placed an ocean tile yet. Um, well, if we put it there, we get two cards. Put it there, we get two steel. So I'm going to put it there. We'll get the two steel out of that. Thank you very much. Bit of water at the top of the world. That's very exciting. Okay, right. End turn. The grey player has a go. It'd be nice if grey... Oh, I was going to put the city there, you stupid thing. You rubbish player. I was going to put my city there and I would have had three things round it and I could have carried on going round it. Oh, now you're trying to steal my plant thunder, are you? You scoundrel. You scallywag. Uh, okay, right, what else can I do then? Actions! Might as well get three free cards out of it. Why the heck not? Let's go and see what we got handed. Hopefully there's something useful. Geothermal power. Heat trappers loses a point. I don't want to do that. Oh, grass! <laughs> Hooray! Grass! Uh, minus 16 degrees C or warmer. Increase your plant production one step. Gain three plants. Do you know what? Why not? Do it. Do some grass. There we go. Lovely. And now we've got enough. We've got 10 down here. We can turn those 10 into a foresty thing. Can I not do that? Oh, no. I've got no turns left. All right. He's passed. I have got some turns left. Yes. Let's create some greenery. Um, okay. Can I put it there? And get myself another bit of steel out of it? Might as well. Yep. Yeah, I guess we've got five steel. So if I want to build a building, build a city or something, I can indeed get on with that because I can use the steel. Um, okay, right. Let me look through and see what else we want. Ah, now these are going to be good. Breathing filters. Minimum 7% oxygen or more. Yes. And it gives us two victory points. Literally uh, the easiest two victory points we can get. So there we go. That's nice. End that turn. And what else? Ah, we can put windmills in now because we've got minimum of 7% oxygen or more. Uh, increase my energy production by one step. And I can pay for it. It's only four anyway. I can pay for it with steel. So I might as well do that. It's going to be free. I'm paying for it out of my steel costs. So yeah, okay. Might as well do that. A nice free thing. So essentially my energy production just went up for free, effectively, more or less. Well, let's do this. Permafrost extraction. 
8 degrees C or warmer, it is place an ocean tile. Okie doke, let's do that then. So where do I want to put my new ocean tile? Do I put it there and get some plants back? Or do I put it there and get some cards? Two cards, I'm not really that bothered about getting more cards. Let's do that, let's get some plants back. Let's put it over there, look. Nice bit of water, we get two plant resources. Thank you very much. We've got six monies left, right? Let's end our turn. Let's go and see if there's anything else we want to do. What I am going to do is I'm going to sell some cards. I've got a few more cards that I don't want because they're a bit rubbish. So let's do that. Yeah, let's sell. Okay, that didn't kind of do what I thought it might do. Sell things. Yes. Yes, I would like to sell patents. Okay, that's clearly not working. <laughs> Alpha version. Okay, let's end my turn. Let's end my turn. Let's see if it works now. If I go to standard projects and sell patents. Yes, I would love to sell some patents. Okay, right. It's not bringing up the actual list of cards for me to sell the patents. I was going to try and sell <laughs> some of these cards I don't want. Like I don't want uh, that one. Peroxide power. I don't want hired raiders and I don't want heat trappers. So I thought, oh, I can get them out of the way. But but no, never mind. <laughs> there you go. That's what you get for playing with alpha versions and all that kind of stuff. Uh, do you know what? We'll keep that then. We'll keep our money. We'll keep the six monies. We shall skip our turn. Yes, I'm very sure. And we shall pass. Uh, hang on, let's just check. Have I done all the things? Yes, I've done all the things. Okay, yeah, pass that. And go on to generation, whatever it is. 11 are we on now? 12? Look at the big boost of things I've got there. It's very, very cool. Okay, he's getting some money as well. Don't give him any money. 54 monies. Oh, I get so much cash per turn. He can be supposed to do so many things. So many things. We're so near the end game, though. Three more water tiles, a little bit of oxygen, and a bit of temperature. I mean, he's slowed down on his temperature stuff there, hasn't he, a lot? And, uh, yeah, we'll be done. We'll be absolutely done. Well, that's that card is free to deploy. Um, spend seven money to increase your energy production one step. Oh, do you know what? That's actually not that good. Acquired company, increase your money production three steps. I don't know if we'll have three more turns to recoup that cost. Mineral deposit for three, gain five steel. Yeah, that's worth having. That's absolutely fine. But that's very expensive. Imported nitrogen gives us a terraform rating, gives us all those other things, but it's really expensive. It's very costly. So we'll just have that one card, please. Thank you very much. Right, who goes first? Grey player is having a turn, increasing plants, more plants. Oh, are they going to create a plant resource? Oh, how are they so far ahead in terms of terraform rating? How are they doing that? What are you doing? How are you doing all these magic things? Okay, well, we're going to try and catch up with you with at least one of those. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's create that. Put that into there. So we create a little forest. Put it on there. Beautiful. So we get some monies. And, ah, now, yes, I think you get money if you put... Now, yeah, again, this is the rules not being... Because I've not played it loads and loads and loads of times. I think if you put forest next to forest tile, you get one money back. So because I put that forest tile next to two forest tiles, I got two monies back, which is nice. Um, and I can do that again. I can do that again. Can we build that city yet? Can we build the open city? What oxygen is required? 12% or higher. Now, I can use my company, uh, my sort of corporation bonus thing here, because I get it, it can be minus or plus two. And this is where this is going to kick in. So your temperature, oxygen, ocean requirements are plus two or minus two steps. So I can basically build that city now. That city requires 12% oxygen or higher. We're on 11. But because I can have a range of plus or minus two, I can now build that city. And you know what? Let's put all that steel into it. Like so. In fact, let's play that card. Let's do the mineral deposit card. Yes. Gain five steel. Lovely. Thank you very much. Got five steel. End my turn. If he puts a city just there, I'm going to be very very cross. I'm going to be really angry if he puts a city in there. Do not put a city in here, my good man. You spent all your money. I don't know what you spent all your money on. Good grief. But it's got... I am full of rage! Oh, I should have done that. That's four victory points for him. You! Oh, you. Oh, I'm cross. Ah, unbelievable. Unbeflippingly. Okay, right, fine. We'll build the open city. Um, how much have we got? So that's going to pay for 18. 18 of the 21 monies. Yes, please. Yes, we'll have an open city, for goodness sake. We'll put it there, look. Connects to three uh, forest tiles. Come on. Yes, you're doing all the calculations for it. Let's put it there, like that. City appears. Now, another thing. What about... We've got milestones. They're all done. What about awards? What other awards have we got? The bank award has been in scientists is the most science tags. 
It's a nice heat results. Not bothered about that. That's the most of those. Landlord is the most tiles. How many tiles has he got? One, two, three, four. Well, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I might go for that, you know. I might go for minor. No, which one was it? Landlord. Own the most tiles in play. I think I will beat him on that. I don't think he can do anything about that. Right, we'll have this plant. Oh, no, no turns left. Right, he's passed. It's my turn again. Right, plants. Yes, make a nice plant resource thing. Put it just here, so it's next to the city. Lovely. That's another bit of money, I think, as well. Do we get a bit of money for that? But also, more importantly, we get a uh, terraforming rating and we get a victory point at the end. Uh, actions. Let's do my tire de grey thingamabob. Thank you very much. Right. Skip the next turn. He's not doing anything. I think now I can play Ants. Because minimum 4% oxygen or higher, add one VP for every two microbes on this card. So if I do that, play Ants. Ants go into play. Actions. I can now take some uh, microbes from the Tardigrades and put them into the Ants. Remove one micro from any card to add to this card. Card result. Yeah, okay. Add. Oh, this is very complicated. Take from the Tardigrades. Take from there. Yeah, there. Confirm. Confirm. I can't click it. I can't click anything. I'd like to select that, please. Uh, okay, this doesn't look like it's working as it should. Maybe that's not working as it should do. Confirm or confirm. Oh, that's a bit annoying because that, that's... And as well, it doesn't work properly if you put the mouse over either. Look, it's a little bit wibbly. Look, hello. Detect it, please. Yeah, I can't pick it. I can't click the thing. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame, because that would have been quite good. Now I'm stuck. How do I come out of that? Ah, there, like that. Okay, that's not going to work. That is a shame. And do you know what else is a shame? <laughs> the game is broken. It is very much broken. I can't click on anything. I can't click on anything at all. Look, card resources, can't click on tags, can't click on victory points. Nothing happens. My deck of cards here is gone. It's not there. I can't, I haven't got a, like the action two of two. I normally have a pass button. I can't pass. I can't click on anything. Can't click on awards, standard projects, milestones. It has indeed broken. We have just broken the game. Pesky ants. I knew there were going to be trouble from the very start. And the ants have ruined it. Ah, we were so close. We were so close to finishing. Two more water tiles, which we would have had. We would have had two more water tiles very easily indeed. One little nudge of temperature, I think. But does that mean it's full? Because it's got it's lit up. Maybe temperature was done, actually. Maybe temperature was maxed out. So two water tiles and two uh, increases in oxygen, which would have been absolutely simple. We'd have had that probably on generation 13. So again, it kind of, it takes a little while to build up. And then all of a sudden, around the sort of double figure generations, it then explodes. And everyone kind of goes, right, I've got cars to do this, that, the other, bish, bash, bosh. And loads of stuff happens. But yeah, it's it's broken. It's broken. So sorry, everyone. We're going to have to. We're going to assume that I won. Obviously, obviously, we're going to assume I took a victory there. But um, yeah, I can't. I can't do anything with it. I simply cannot do anything more. I can't press any buttons or do anything. I've pressed escape, and uh, yeah, you can't save the game because obviously it's counting it as a local sort of play. So you can't save. So if you go up to the menu in the corner, I can forfeit or quit. <laughs> I can't do anything else. I've got no other sort of options got no other options to do anything so um yeah there we go that's a shame but that's what you get pre-alpha build it's not even an alpha it's a pre-alpha but it's a fairly fairly good representation of the um of the board game it's very very good uh the card maybe the card handle needs to be a little bit slicker when you click that and you can look through your cards but you know I, I, it works it works very very well i think it looks good it's got a nice sort of calming Kind of Martian-y type soundtrack that you can't hear, but it's just sort of relatively relatively calming music. It's you know nothing excessive. It's just sort of peaceful and spacey, which is quite nice. Uh, all the cards look very good. It works fairly quickly. I mean, it works all right. The AI seems pretty good. This medium level AI seems pretty good. They've done some quite good things. They've got a lot of terraform rating going on. They focused on the temperature, and then yeah, look, they put that city there in the maximum sort of uh, spot, which was very good for that city, which would have helped a lot. So um. Yeah, I think I think the AI is good. I think this has got a lot of promise. It's a very good sort of reflection of the board game. 
and I'm, I'm impressed with that and I like that this pleases me because the board game is excellent the board game is very very good indeed um, but yeah it's just a shame that it's broken but yeah pre-alpha there you go so I don't know I don't know who would have won I can't click on my victory points to try and see what I've got now it says four I know that's Taractor. that's them have they only got four victory points I've got loads I must have 30 something by now I would have thought Oh, no, maybe not quite that many. It's certainly 20. I think it's in it's in the 20s, isn't it? They've only got four. Good grief. That's not very good. So combined with the milestones up there, I would have got two of those milestones, I think, which would give me 10 victory points. And I would have got the award, which gives me, I don't know how many more, another five possibly. So that's 15 victory points for milestones and awards. Add that onto my 39 points, which is, what's that, for 54, plus all my victory points as well from my cards, which might have made, what, 70 or something they've got 47 plus four victory points might have made 51 then we get all sorts of myriad points from here i don't know what else they've got but yeah that that's that is a massive shame i'm i'm really sad that that's broken oh there you go i can click on me 35 victory points i've got 35 victory points compared to their four yeah i think i would have had this in the bag to be honest i would have had this in the bag so they've got more terraform rated than me i've got absolute armfuls of victory points more than those guys so yeah i think i would have won it particularly with the milestones and awards thrown in but that is a shame it's a shame that it's gone a bit wibbly it's a shame it's gone wibbly but never mind never mind but there you go you get the idea so that is terraforming mars it's due out at some point this year it says q2 2018 i don't know how accurate that is i don't know if it's moved back i mean this is still the pre-alpha i don't know if they've moved on from the pre-alpha yet or not i've no idea but yeah it's very very good the um the pc version that we look at now is very very good apart from the fact that it obviously broke but once it comes out i think it shall be good it's a good recreation of the board game and the board game is also excellent i cannot recommend the board game enough it's really really good once you get a, the grasp of the rules which are a little bit complicated at first once you understand the rules and how it all works you come up with some very good plans like this time i focused on the sort of the greenery the foresty thing if he was going up temperatures it became apparent that i had to do the same with the oxygen route by creating lots of forests and things and then um yeah focusing on getting my money get my money up because their money meant that I could use all these cards that I had in my hand my, my invisible hand that's gone away <laughs> oh, we were so close to the end game so close but never mind there we go so yeah hopefully hopefully you have enjoyed this and hopefully it hasn't been too complicated because it is quite complicated so hopefully it's made some sense and you're um you've enjoyed this if you have enjoyed it or you found it interesting or useful then please please do leave a like and also please do subscribe but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek covered and I will see you next time. This room was fire free until it wasn't. Okay, yeah. Come with me if you want to live, Paul. Hop on. Wee. <laughs> this is brilliant. That looks fun. Do some watery stuff. Yes, make the propane caster not explode. Uh, yeah, the toilet's on fire. Never mind. Oh dear, that didn't go according to plan. Never mind, it's fine.